Hi everyone! Today is a new PJ Sunday, so that's why I'm wearing only my pajamas. And today I'm gonna do a little Q&A, so I asked you guys if you had any questions for me. So I have my questions right here, and I'm gonna answer them right now. I had a couple of people asking me the same questions, so I tried to group them by categories. So the first one was, do I want kids, and how many kids do I want? So, and someone asked me why, because she knows that I want uh, two boys and one girl, because I said that in a video so she uh, they want to know why and how many kids I want and if I want kids so I would like three kids because I would like to have a boy a girl and a boy so this way there's no middle child if you have like but I know it's not like it's not gonna be my decision but it's just if you ask me right now that would be like my ideal situation I guess but I would have one kid and I would be the happiest mom ever so it's not like I'm not gonna be happy if I don't have a boy a girl and a boy that's really not it but if I do because this way you don't have any middle child you have the older the youngest and the only girl in the middle so because the, the middle child I'm a middle child and both my parents are middle child and I feel like the middle child is always the one getting left out so that's what I would want a lot of people wanted to know if I have a boyfriend, which the answer is no, I don't have anything even close to a boyfriend. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but because people ask me to do the boyfriend tag, so might happen one day, I would like to do a boyfriend tag one day when I get a boyfriend, but until then, no, I'm sorry. The next question is, why and when did I decide to dye my hair uh, red? And at first it was more like orange. It was in the end of August 2008 that I changed my hair. And I got inspired by Ashley Simpson. Her hair was more like uh, orangey and I loved it. So I thought about it for a couple weeks and I decided to do it. And I never regretted it. I kind of really like it. I like that it's kind of different from other like hair color. People ask me why I did it and why do I have red hair. And honestly the only reason is because I think it looks good. I think it looks pretty. So that's really the only reason. Someone asked me if I had like people telling me mean stuff about my hair and weird look in the streets and I would say mean stuff. I had like half people telling me like in my family and stuff like that. I mean, even people I don't know telling me that they don't like it or that it's like intense or it's they would never do it or but it's okay. <laughs> I mean I do people giving me I sometimes people give me like bad comments but that's all good but rarely happens the people that do they tell me like basically every time they see me but other than that it's no big deal people want to know where I work and where I went to school what for so I went to school for photography when I right like maybe one year after high school and now I work in a school so I don't really do photography photography full-time I would love to do it though uh, do photography uh, and YouTube full-time that will be my dream but I don't I don't think it happens too much like with people from Quebec so we'll see what happens the next question is uh, do I have a best friend and my best friend and also when did I meet her at what age uh, I met my best friend when I was born because <laughs> my best friend is my sister she's 16 uh, months older than me so we were always pretty close so close in age I couldn't ask for a better best friend she's like everything I could want in a best friend she's there for me she listens to me no matter what time what she's doing she's gonna drop everything to if I need her and she's always there for me and also I'm I try my best to always be there for her because it's so important and like I had friends in my life but and even best friends but all friends they, they come and go you know most end up like dropping you when they're sick of you or you know to me I don't count on friends too much but my sister I know she's always there so she's my best friend people ask me if I have tattoos or piercings so I'm gonna link the video that I did the other PJ Sunday that I did about my piercings and my tattoos so you can hear the whole story about every uh, every tattoos someone asked me how many subscribers do I want and I feel like you can't really have like too many subscribers because the more people you get in touch with and the more people you you get to talk to and to make video for like the better it is I think because I love talking to you guys I love that I get to talk to people around the world I never thought I would be lucky enough to 
to have something like this so the more people I get to talk to and chat with like the happier I am so I don't think I can have, you can have too many subscribers and she asks me uh, do I want to go on a trip next year and would I take uh, my camera and make videos again because I went on a cruise this year and I made vlogs it's on my French channel so you can go check it out you can go see uh, where we were and what we did even though it's in French you know you can all still see the images and stuff and I definitely want to do uh, another trip next year I would like to do one in January I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to because I don't think uh, no one wants to go no one wants to go on a trip in January so the I would have to go alone but I definitely want to do another one next summer that's for sure someone asked me if I love them I'm like of course I do I mean any person that watch my video and that take the time to listen to me talk they make my life like so much better just by clicking on my video and uh, you know just knowing that people listen and people care and people comment on my videos I mean I don't see how I wouldn't love you I mean it's you every one of you is so amazing and thank you so much for being part of my life seriously so my model L2O she asked me when did I move out of my parents place uh, I was around 22 when I moved out because it's kind of a little bit older but I didn't want to leave my brother because he's 10 years uh, younger than me so I didn't want to leave him I felt like, like I kind of felt like he needed me you know so I only left when I was 22 but I've been living completely alone you know with no roommate since I was 24 what country do I want to visit and that's hard because I really want to visit every single countries uh, I want to go everywhere there's not one place I don't want to go seriously but I've been my sister and I have been wanting to go to England since we were really young because our grand our grandpa was from England and we have some family that we never met that lived there so I would like to go there and like it's on the top of my list the next one is am I for marriage uh, that's yes for sure I definitely want to get married one day do you prefer fashion or makeup and that's really hard because I love both but I'm not into like fashion in the sense that I need to wear what's in right now I wear what I want to wear I wear what I love and I even if it like the fashion is that's over or if it's not even in fashion or I'm just gonna wear it if I like it anyway but if we thought if we're talking about really clothes I feel like you can make more of a statement with clothing more than with makeup so I think I would have to go with clothing but I do love my makeup <laughs> how much time do you take to get ready in the morning and I would say if I have all the time in the world then I'm gonna take forever and curl my hair like watching videos and taking my time but if I'm in a hurry and if I only have like 15 minutes I'm only gonna take 15 minutes but Usually I take around like 30 minutes, I would say, in the morning. You want to do a series of video for Christmas. And if you're interested, definitely I would love to do that. I love Christmas, so I'm going to start uh, working on that if you're interested. So tell me in the comments if you want to see this. What's your favorite store for uh, fashion, makeup, and like uh, home stuff? And to me, there's only one place to go that you can find all three of those and it's winners or marshals I just love going there do you have plans for your channel and I'm planning a new series I just started it on that like last Friday so it's called real talk and I'm really excited about that series that's just about tons of stuff that doesn't have to do with makeup and uh, beauty I hope you like it if you saw the the first video that I did on Friday so I'm really excited about that what's your favorite drink I think my favorite drink is either uh, Shirley Temple or raspberry iced tea. That's, yeah, I think that's between those two. Could you do rituals videos for the morning, the night, and the weekend? And if you ask me if you're interested, I'm definitely going to do it. So I'm going to start working on that. Three objects that are always in my bag. So I would say that uh, lip balm is, uh, tissues, because I have a lot of allergies, so I always need tissues. and like Purell like to clean my hands because everything's so dirty in life <laughs> so I like to clean my hands, hands all the time and I don't count my like iPhone with my music and my earphones with that because it's 
technically not in my bag, it's in my back pocket and on my hand, so I need that as well, but I don't count it as in my bag. My favorite YouTuber, and I just have so many, uh, Daily Grace, Soundly Awake, Sub Daily 06, Marcus Butler, Tyler O'Klee, I love him, <laughs> Pointless Blog, uh, Jim Chapman, Philly D, and then there's, there's a lot of YouTubers from Quebec, I love Cam Cambrin, Glitter and Black, and ML La Fashionette. Those are my three favorites from my hometown. So that's it for the first part of the questions. I still have a couple, but I want to make it in two parts so it's not too long for you guys. So I hope you liked it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!